Having the opportunity to receive a post-secondary education has been a privilege, one I know I have at times taken for granted. That isn't to say it was a walk in the park. We worked hard. We had highs and lows, moments of triumph and moments of defeat. But through it all, we've come out stronger, more resilient, and hopefully more prepared for what lies ahead. When I first started at UBC in 2018, <laughs> um, the only thing I was sure of was I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I've changed my path many times over the last six years. Uh, my first year I took a wide variety of courses. Each subject provided me with a different way of thinking and understanding. In my second year I was determined that I would do a biology degree and that I would become a nurse. Um, yikes. Well, it turns out um, I don't have the stomach to get through a human anatomy course, let alone nursing school. Every semester up until this point, I was also taking at least one French course because they were my favorite courses. Each professor I've had along my journey has shared a true passion for their area of study. French studies at UBC encompass language, literature, and culture, allowing me to explore numerous subjects. Contemporary literature courses gave me a means of discussing philosophical questions like morality, ethics, and truth, while linguistics revealed the many socially constructed ideologies we attach to language. I greatly appreciated this interdisciplinary <laughs> approach to education, one I will no doubt utilize in my own classroom later on. When I was asked to present to you all today, I was surprised to say the least. Um, when I started university, I was not someone who could have stood before you and spoken today. Um, it's been a time of self-discovery. We've navigated the complexities of academic life while also trying to understand who we are and who we want to become. Definitely still we don't have all the answers on that one, but who really does? As we go through life, we are constantly changing and evolving. Our experiences shape us and we develop new perspectives and beliefs. However, it can be challenging to stay true to ourselves during this process. Growing into yourself means embracing who you are and accepting your unique qualities. It means being confident in your decisions. It also means being kind to yourself and forgiving your mistakes. I've learned not to be afraid of hearing no. Always ask for what you want. After all, you are your biggest advocate. You must seek out opportunities to further your career, gain new knowledge, make new friends, and even strengthen your existing relationships. I believe the educator I will become has grown as a result of the unique experience and guidance I received as an FHIS student. I've always thought about what kind of teacher I want to be. The best ones I know are enthusiastic, dedicated, and compassionate, like yourselves. Mm -hmm. These are qualities I remain mindful of every day. Um, together, these qualities create an educator who is capable of sharing the love of learning with their students. However, until this last semester, I mostly thought about how I wanted to teach, what my classroom would look like, and what activities I would plan. I hadn't stopped to think about how I was going to teach my students the most important lessons. The relationships I have built with my classmates and my professors over the last six years have illuminated what I truly want each of my students to walk out of my classroom with. I want to help my students foster positive self-esteem, confidence, and an appreciation for their differences and the differences of others. I want my students to understand how to have a difficult conversation productively. I want my students to learn about the power of good listening. These are a few questions I will keep in mind while becoming the teacher I want to be. How will I make all my future students feel seen and represented? How will I make space for all of their differences? And how will I build a classroom in which each of my students feel they belong? I will do this because of the experience that I received. I can speak. <laughs>